Oh, Mastur. He dispossesses the freaking defender. He gets past the defender once again. He's going to go for the fake shot. It's so fake. He got past him. And there's the goal. Yes. Oh, my God. That took so much concentration. But finally, Hakeem Mastur scores in the Dutch League. Such a great goal. He got past a defender. He got past another. And then he just finishes it so beautifully. What is going on, boys? It is me, Quicken, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hakeem Mastur My Player Career Mode. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have been showing on this series. You guys absolutely love it, so I'm going to keep pumping out these series for you. But if you can get 100 likes once again, I will take out another episode of this Hakeem Mastur career mode. And I promise you that as soon as we get 100 likes, I will release the next episode. So if the day I upload this video, we get 100 likes, I will take out another upload. Yes, a double upload of the Hakeem Mastur my player career mode you guys absolutely love it so i think you guys will be able to hit those 100 likes but you guys did ask me if i could change the nationality on hakim mastur so i can be from morocco but actually i can't his default nationality right now is italian so i cannot change that anymore so i'm sorry if that bothers you if you see the italian flag i'm very sorry but it is already too late to change the nationality but we're gonna get into the first game of today's episode and it's gonna be in the Europa League and I think it's gonna be the first game uh, of Europe so let's get right into it my steward does get picked so let's see how he does so we are gonna start this road to the Europa League final versus Austria FK Austria and we also have Everton and Pantheakos in this group so Everton and Feyenoord are the two favorites to go on to the next round, but this should be a very good start to the Europa League. And let's see the squad that the coach picked out for Feyenoord in today's game. This is the squad that Feyenoord brought for today's game. Jan Paul Boates on the left, Yildirim as a striker, we have Almadi, Mastur, and Classy as the center mids, we have Sven Van Beek and Kongolo as the two center backs. Overall, a strong squad, and we should be able to get the three points uh, in this Europa League game. That's a great ball to Mastur, lobbing it over to El Amadi. El Amadi, too classy. That back to Mastur, he does a roulette, he cuts in. Great job from the defense, we're going to leave it off with Classy, and let's see what he can do. He opens it wide, and that is too long, but Yildre makes the effort, and that goes out for a goal kick. Oh, that's a great ball, Bortes! Oh my lord! Oh my word! That was gonna be a freaking goal! The goal of the season! But Jan Paul Bortes was offside. Look at this! The beautiful pass from, I think that was our defensive mid, but Jan Paul Bortes was offside, and that would have been an insane goal. And it would have gave us the first goal of the game, but it was offside. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, Mastur sees a run from Boatis. That's a great ball right to his feet. And now the skilled dribbler's on it. Passes it off to Mastur. And that is a free kick. He almost broke off Mastur's leg. And he gets a yellow card. So it's going to be Tornesta to take it. He goes for the lob. We go for the header. And a great save from Linger, which is the goalkeeper from FK Austria. And that was a great header. Decent center. And that goes out for the corner kick. All right, all great ball back to the winger. That's a decent center, and it completely goes off target. But here's Alamadi, too classy. He shoots it, a great save from the keeper once again. And that was a great opportunity, but we keep the ball. We're doing a great job on keeping the ball, getting the ball as soon as it goes out, and we need to create something here. And that was a very good slide tackle, and it seems that every time Mastur has a ball, the slide tackles are always on point, but Mastur tries making a run. He is offside. And look at the bunch. We have the Brady bunch back here, but now it's Mastur with the skills. He goes for the shot, and another save from Linger. This guy is an insane goalkeeper. That's a decent ball. Mastur gets in the way of that, and he has taken down a great save from our goalkeeper. And that is their first shot of the game, but there are only 10 minutes left, and we need to score a goal. We need the first three points of the game. This is where we need to be lethal. Mastur, that was a decent ball, but it, it could have been better. Now it's Terence Congolo back to Mastur, and Mastur has all the pressure on him. So he passes it back. There's a shot, and yes, Mastur with the assist, 
and this was a beautiful counterattack, and we finally scored the first goal in the 85th minute. It took all that time to score, but Mastur gets a great assist, and that is a great goal, and we are getting the three points. This is a great start to our Europa League season. We come out winning 1-0 and we get the three points. And let's see the match rating that Mastur got in today's game. Mastur comes out with a 7.6 match rating. He had one shot on target. He had 100% passing and he had 14 short passes completed. He had six completed medium passes and he had one key pass to give us the goal. So Mastur comes out with a 7.6 match rating. But now, let's move on to the game versus Ajax of Amsterdam. Here we go boys, Ajax versus Feyenoord. This is one of the biggest games in the Dutch league and this is going to be an insane game. Ajax are in second place with 13 points. They're doing pretty damn well this season and we need to do a lot better in the league. We haven't done that well. So if we get the three points versus Ajax, that's really going to help us out. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a very, very great game. Mileo is on the ball. Bad slide tackle. There's Anderson with the shot, but it goes very wide. Yes, this is what we need. The counterattack with Yildirim. He passes it off to our center defensive mid. I can't even pronounce his name, but now it's Mastur. We're gonna chip it over, and that's a great ball to Manu. Now Manu is on it, and that goes out for a corner kick. So this could be our first opportunity to strike at goal. But now it's Ajax on the counter attack after that corner kick, and it's Fisher. He opens it to Serrero. Serrero with the center, and that was a great opportunity. Anderson had a open net. But he decided to do that, and that was a close opportunity, and Ajax, they're just getting so many chances. There we go, this is the play we needed. A great ball to, from Mastur to Manu, he opens it wide, there's a shot, and a great save from Jasper Sillison. That was a great counterattack. I thought that Manu was going to go for the shot, but he opened it up. Now we go to halftime, we're still tied, nil-nil. But this has been a great game. It's been very tight, but for now, it looks like Ajax are going to be the team that's going to come out with the win unless we change things in the second half. Oh my god, that is great. Yildirim with the shot, and that goes in for the goal. That was an insane assist. I think it came from Jordi Classy. We're going to have to see the replay for that one. But look at this. Mastur passes it off. A beautiful heel flick, and Yildirim... No one expected that play to happen and Lildrim, there was no mark on him and he went for this beautiful shot and we are beating Ajax 1-0 and we start things off very well in the second half. Serrero's on it, he opens it up but that goes out for a goal kick and Ajax, it looks like they don't have the confidence that they had in the first half but Yildrim in 7 appearances he has 2 goals which isn't that good but he's still trying to mark some goals for our team. And it is time for some substitutions. Karim El Amadi is going to come in. So that brings in another center mid. So hopefully that helps us out in the midfield. Corner kick for Ajax. They're trying to get that goal back. And they are going to center it in. And they went straight to one of our defenders. And they shoot it. And it goes wide once again. And I don't think Ajax have completed one shot on target. They've all been off target and... They've had some opportunities, but it, it just isn't enough to score a goal. Elgato glitched up on me, so I'm going to have to do the rest of this episode as a post-commentary. But Hakim Mastur did have to come off as a substitute because he picked up an injury. So we had to request a sub, and it's okay because we did beat Ajax 1-0, and Mastur didn't come out with an injury. He's just going to be injured for one day, and this is how the league table is looking. We are in 8th place currently, and Ajax, after that loss, they stay in 2nd, and SC Hedenveen, who we're going to face next is in first place. So our next game is going to be versus the league leaders who are SC Hedenveen. So we're in eighth place and the season is still very fresh. So if we get this three points, this could catapult us all the way up to the top three. But we're going to start things off with Tornestra and Mastur didn't want to get involved. He wanted to see what team could do on their own. And that is what happens. Tornestra with beautiful dribbling and he scores the first goal of the game. And this is very important because SC Hedenveen 
They're in first place. They've been having a great season and they also have a great team. And Feyenoord hasn't started off so good, but in recent games, we'd, we've been having a very good form and Tornesta has been playing very well. So that is the first goal of the game. But here is Mastur on the ball. He gets the ball. Now he makes a beautiful run and that pass is just majestic. And Mastur has all the space in the world. He does a beautiful ball roll and the player does get down, but Mastur doesn't care. They didn't call a fall and he scores the goal to make it 2-0. So Mastur, overall, he's been having a great game and look at that. He scores his beautiful goal to make the second goal. And overall, this was a very good game versus SC Hedenbeam. We dominated versus them and I thought it was going to be a much more difficult game. Uh, but Mastur scores the second goal and that so far seals the three points. But things aren't going to finish there. Here's Mastur on the ball and he's very good at dribbling. He gets past the defender and he could have got past another but he gets taken down in the box. And that is a penalty kick. Yes, a penalty kick. And Mastur wasn't going to take it. Yildrum, our striker, was. And he does make it in. He does a nice stutter step. And the goalkeeper went the wrong way. And that made it 3-0. And the game, at that point, it ended. And nothing much happened after that. Mastur celebrated. And it would have been good if he would have gotten an assist there. But it was a penalty that he did concede and we win the game versus the league leaders 3-0 and Ajax had a very good opportunity to make it to first place but Mastur comes out with a low rating compared to the first game I think that Mastur did more in this game but he does come out with this rating and it's not that good but he still tried his best he scored a goal and it would have been better if he would have gotten an assist but he did go up in one overall rating and these are the stats he went up in overall Mastur He's been just growing a lot, and the games he's been playing in, he's just been playing very good. So this is a very good justified way to go up in his overall ratings. He's gone up in curve, he's gone up in jumping, he's gone up in most of his stats, which is freaking awesome. And now he's a 78 rated cam. But this is how we're looking in the league table after those games. We are in 6th place, and SC hadn't been dropped down all the way to 5th, and Ajax are in 1st place as the league leaders. But this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like. Comment down below, and I'm sorry that there isn't a live comment anymore, but that's pretty much it. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.